Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. This is for the week of January 2nd through the 8th and I'm using the uh, October 2023 October mystery kit from Scribble Prince Co. Unfortunately, we don't have an actual name for this kit yet, so it's still just October mystery. Usually when I use these mysteries or like the previous ones, sometimes they're out long enough to where she reformats it and then there's a name for it, but uh, there is not a name for it yet. So it's just the October mystery. Um, and then I am using some... Or not even using them. Never mind. I'm using a foil bundle that came with the kit for the underlays and everything. Uh, fair warning, I just woke up, so my voice is a little rough today. Uh, we're a little tired, but it's okay because I needed to get this uh, voiceover done. That way I can get this video up. It is a little late. Usually I'll try to get them up around like 9 or 10 a.m. And this one is just not going to be up at that time frame, but it is still going to be going up on a Monday. So that's always an accomplishment, honestly, for me. So uh, nothing crazy really happened this week. This was the first official like full week of January. This is the spread that everyone or the week that everyone will be using a New Year spread. But I, I don't know. I was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do some type of wintry spread. And this was one of those kits that I literally was like, I have to use it now. Also, fair warning as I'm lifting up that box right there. I uh, may or may not ruin a whole entire full box in this video. Uh, so when you see that, I apologize for the uh, complete massacre of that box because it was my own mistake. So just, just fair warning that will come up in a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is my first like official week in the 2023 like official planner um, purely just because... I did the New Year's spread. I just did it on a technically the last week of the last planner, but we're keeping it in this planner. Um, also, thank you to everyone for all of the kind comments on that video. I need to go back through and respond to all of you guys, but um, the amount of you guys that were just so excited and just so nice about the spread too, because I haven't color blocked in a long time and the color blocking on that spread was just immaculate. It was great. Um, also, the, I'm about to put down the full box that I massacre later, and if you can see the reason why, let me know. Um, but it's it's very, very sad why I have to literally completely ruin that full box. But uh, yes, thank you guys for all of your support on the last plan with me. It was really fun to film. It was hard to film because uh, color blocking and it was kind of a little bit of a struggle bus to find a like character stickers that fit that spread. Um, when I was pulling stickers for this, I was like, oh my god, this is so much easier because I don't have to worry about color blocking. I don't have to worry about like specific colors of the stickers. Don't have to worry about certain foils. It was actually a very easy plan with me to film. So I love that for us. Um, but the only major thing that really happened this week was the Jonas Brothers concert. So I fun fact about me. Um, I had never been to a concert um, until Stagecoach of last year, and then I went to two at the end of the year and one at the beginning of this year. So, I've already been to a lot, and um, second fun fact, every single concert other than Stagecoach has been free for me. So, uh, it, long story short, my best friend, she's able to get free tickets. So we went to a Pink concert and then we went to a Jonas Brothers concert and I lived out my best childhood dreams at that first Jonas Brothers concert. We were like eight rows from the stage. They were free and it was one of the best concerts um, and I was just so excited to be there. For this concert, it was part of the playoff, like, live fest thing that they were doing, so you had to, like, know that they were going to have free um, concert tickets. Also, me massacring the box right now. I'm so sorry for everyone who has to watch this, um, but it was, I think, Pitbull the second night and then Jonas Brothers the first night, and then there was a couple other, like, openers that were there as well, and they were free. They were free tickets. You could have gotten floor. You could have gotten the bowl. Um, I did not know about it in time for me to get the floor, even though it was not full, so they definitely could have let people on the floor. But um, me and a couple of my other friends went. It was funny though because like all of us just got tickets without even knowing whether the rest of us 
got tickets or not. So we like halfway through after getting these tickets, we we're like, wait, you have tickets? Wait, you have tickets? So we can all go together type of situation. So it was really fun. We were like pretty far in the back, but honestly, like I said, I didn't really care because I already lived my Jonas Brothers like concert dream a couple months prior, which I haven't filmed that plan with me, obviously, because it was, I think, in November. Um, so you guys haven't seen that. But uh, I lived my Jonas Brothers dream in that specific night in November. So this one was just fun with friends. And I got to go to a concert with a couple friends that I've never been with. And it was just a great time and overall great experience. And it was kind of wild, though, because we sat there for like two hours waiting for like, obviously, the... Um, original like the openers to happen and then the Jonas Brothers went on and I was so excited because they sang turn up um the music which they did not sing in the first concert so overall it was a great time and that was the highlight of this week um if I'm honest I think I don't really think anything else crazy happened um yeah, no, it was just kind of random things, but definitely Jonas Brothers concert was the highlight of this entire week. So that is the um, base of the spread. We can get into the plans. Um, so on Monday, I did mark coffee first. So I used these, uh, oh my god, brain focus. I know it's morning. I know you just woke up. You gotta get there, brain. brain. Come on. Okay. So I used a crafty banana coffee cup. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and a coffee script that is from my shop. It is in font two. Fun fact, if you didn't know that I have a shop, it is called Magical Sticker Co. It's always linked down below. I have a bunch of scripts and recently introduced underlays into my shop. So I have a bunch of those as well. But if you are intrigued or interested, definitely check it out. It's always linked down below. But yes, that is uh, font number two. And then I did place an Amazon order. I don't remember what it was for. I think at this point I was trying to get a bunch of new like face masks and face uh, like cleansers and things because my skin was extremely dry these couple weeks of January. So I used for the Amazon order a Scribble Prince Co. icon and an Amazon order script that is from my shop. And then I just marked that I had a good day. So I used a Once More With Love Munchkin to mark the good day and just put a piece of washi underneath it. Moving on to the second half of Monday, I had mids for majority of this week. Um, so I did, when I got home, I believe it's when I got home, tweeze my eyebrows because we need a good tweeze in every now and then. So I used a Munchkin again for that one. And then I used a... Uh, Simply Mess Girl to mark washing my costume. The wash costume is a custom and then last but not least, I'm books that I read. So I am still reading the same book that I was reading at the beginning of this year because I just fell off of it. And I like, I used to be a person where I could read a book in one sitting. Like I would sit there in a day and read like a, like a 500, 600 page book. I could do that in a day. I actually read Order of the Phoenix from Harry Potter, which is like a thousand page book. I read that in a day and I can't do that anymore y'all I get so distracted and I don't know what happened like I really don't my brain just cannot focus on in anything anymore so it's taking me forever to read this book it's like a 800 900 dollar 900 dollars hello oh my god this plan with me is gonna be all over the place and I'm so sorry it is like a 900 page book or so and I just my brain trying to focus on it and I don't even think it's the book itself because everyone's obsessed with these books but like she's struggling I am like halfway through like three quarters of the way through the book now and it's definitely better so my my uh like focus on it better but I was struggling hardcore so we read on the Monday <laughs> um and then long-winded we read on Monday um I used a icon that is from Scrub Prince Co to mark that moving on to Tuesday I had another coffee um I think I went to Starbucks but I just used a coffee run script on this so I used another one of those crafty banana coffee cups and a coffee run script from the bundle that came with this so it's just from Scrub Prince Co also that extender was really bothering me so I put two little deco pieces on it to try to get it to stay down because it was very very annoying um and then Tuesdays are my paydays now because of early payday from Wells Fargo so I marked payday and I used both the script and the icon are from the foil bundle with the kit 
And then I just mark that I paid my bills because I usually will pay all my bills for the week on the day that I get paid and then just budget out the rest of the week for whatever money I have. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark paying the bills with it, like the wallet emptying because that's literally me. And then I did have to RSVP for Shrimpy's birthday, which if you, I don't know if I've ever mentioned Shrimpy. Shrimpy is a daughter of one of my close friends and we like she was co-worker she um we've like been friends for a while and from womb to birth she always called her baby shrimpy and still is shrimpy so um we will never be able to uncall her shrimpy so um i had rsvp for her first birthday so i use a little baby uh, munchkin to mark that and then after work i did do a face mask so i used a fox and cactus girl um for that and then i did read some more so i used paper and milk uh maru and the read script is from the foil bundle. Did not realize that there was a read script there originally, otherwise I probably would have used it on Monday. Moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday was an hour earlier shift and guys, it's wild. Literally an hour makes a huge difference difference for the traffic of me trying to get to work and I marked that there was a bunch of traffic because 10 a.m. starts are the worst. There's so much traffic. Actually, they're not the worst. Like 8 a.m. starts are the worst, but there's so much traffic and I'm like, this is not worth it. It's not worth it. There's a reason why I close. Not only am I not a morning person, but also the traffic is horrendous in the morning. So, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark the traffic. I wanted to use one that was pissed off, but there wasn't one that was in a colorway that matched. So, we use one just driving. It's fine. And then I did have to um, call my dad. Not entirely sure what I called him for, but I marked that. So I used a munchkin to marking, to mark calling him. After work, we went to a place that's in Anaheim over by Disneyland area. It's called to- Oh my God, my brain today, y'all. I am so sorry. Um, it's called Tacos Los Cholos. Um, they have a like they're they're like a taco place, but they have a potato. This might sound weird, but it's big potato and you can get all the fixing that you would normally get on like a taco or a burrito and you can get that on the potato. There they have like meats, there's cheese, there's onions, radishes, like oh oh my god, it's so good. A bunch of salsas, like it is so good. So I got that and I used a Scrub Prince Co. character sticker, like a really old one, to mark that. And then after that, we got gas. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. character and a Get Gas script that is from Carly Plans. And then I did have a YouTube binge and used a Munchkin and a YouTube binge script from my shop. And last but not least, I marked that it was really cold because it was. So I used like this frozen emoji uh, from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. I also realized when I was pulling that sticker that I don't have very many like cold wintry type of stickers. I have a lot of snowmen, but I don't really have like cold ones. And I have a lot of hot ones because summer would be real rough here in Southern California, but don't really have very many cold ones, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll get some in the future. Uh, moving on to Thursday. So Thursday, the first thing I did, I went through and canceled all of my subscriptions. I still can't cancel one of them though, and it's still charging my account and I need to message their customer support because every time I try to cancel it, I get an error and I didn't even know I had it first off. I didn't even know that I had this specific subscription and I'm just like hello. I didn't know I had you. So why won't you let me cancel you if I didn't even know I had you? You were charging my account 12 bucks a month for a subscription and I didn't even know I had you. Looking at you, Paramount Plus. Just saying. So yes, I went through and canceled a bunch of subscriptions that I just either didn't need, didn't use, or just was like, why do I have this type of situation? And I'm mostly doing it just to try to save some money because when you look at the subscriptions, they add up and it's a lot. And do I really absolutely have to cancel them? No, but I don't need them. So, um, I used to paper and milk little Maro to mark canceling the subscriptions. And then I did mark that I watched some Twitch streams. So I used a, another paper and milk, uh, sticker for that. And then I was testing out a new primer on this day. I also, again, I'm just trying to save some money. Hello. Who is calling me? Oh my God. It's a stupid spam place again. I swear this. Sorry. I'm going to go on a little rant really quickly. This specific phone place that keeps calling me they have 15 different types of 
phone numbers because I keep blocking them and they keep calling me. I am so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. They've called me three times today already. Anyway, um, I was testing new primers because, again, budgeting a little bit, trying not to spend as much money. And uh, the primer that I usually use is like 30 bucks. So, wanted to test out a new like drugstore primer and I actually really like it. So, love that for me. Um, but I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji to mark testing the new primer. And then down below I went to Walgreens. So, I used an icon from the foil bundle and I got Del Taco before work and just used a carly plans little like burrito to mark that and last but not least i marked that it was a good day at work because it was and just like how i mark the rough days i like to mark the good days so i used a yes like little wonton in a million steamy to mark that moving on to friday this is like one of the most unhinged plan with me's but also realistic plan with me yay <laughs> moving on to friday i used a um my brain paper shire little like bunny to mark that I was tired AF because I had a turnaround. So I had a mid, 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 close mid. So they gave me a 10 hour turnaround essentially. And I was exhausted. And the amount of times that I get turnarounds, it's rough. And for some people are like, oh, 10 hours, definitely enough time. However, it takes me like at least an hour to get to work and back. So by the time I finish that, and then I get home, fall asleep, then I have to get up again in the morning. It's like, I get like six hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, maybe at most. And it's just not it. It's just real tiring. So, um, I was tired AF. So the tired AF script is from my shop. Um, and then I did mark hmm, fuck turnarounds because not about that life. So I use this like flipping everyone off munchkin to mark that. And then I marked that I was struggling because I was, I was really, really struggling that day. I think I was just exhausted and needed to just sleep. So I use this dramatic munchkin because I feel like it's very, very fitting for me. Whenever I'm tired, I'm super dramatic and just grumpy and not, not about that life. Don't want to be there when I'm tired. So yes, use the dramatic munchkin to mark that I was struggling. After work, I did watch some Twitch streams, so I used a Paper Milk Maru to mark that, and then I did do a little bit of laundry, so I used, oh my gosh, what is his name? Squidge? I think his name is Squidge. He's from Stick with Planko. I think it's Squidge. Could be wrong, um, but I used him to mark laundry and just used a laundry script from the foil bundle, and then last but not least, I did mark that I just tidied up a little bit. Tell me how I had a bunch of energy at the end of the night. See, this is why I'm not a morning person because literally it'll be like 11 o'clock at night and I'm like, hi, I'm ready to party. Like, let's let's go clean my closet. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Um, but I tidied up on this day apparently, so I used a wonton in a million sticker for that and a tidy up script that is also from the bundle. Moving on to Saturday. Um, so Saturday I did upload, look at me go, uploading videos. So, um, same situation as always. I usually will use my filming slates that are from Mandy Dreams, whose shop is no longer open, but I still have a ton of them. So I will continue using them until I run out. And then I use an upload script that is from my shop. And then I marked that I needed to fold the clothes. I was off this day. I'm not normally off on Saturdays. So my normal days off now are Sunday, Mondays. Um, but I was off on this day because of the Jonas Brothers concert. So that is why, but usually I work Saturdays, but, uh, to mark the folding of the clothes, I used a munchkin and then a fold the damn clothes script that is from Planet Hannah. And then I marked getting glam. Did I actually get like full blown glam? No, but was it more than if I was just going to go out to like, Oh, I just hit you guys. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. This plan with me you know, and I'm still going to upload it because I'm not redoing this voiceover because I don't think the next one's going to be much better. So sorry about that, guys. Um, but did I actually like <clears throat> get fully ready? Yes, but it wasn't like, it's definitely more than like Target, but it wasn't more than like going to like a party or something like that. So if that makes sense, but we got glam, just wanted to mark it. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that. And then I marked that we had to drive to LA. So I used a Van Sticky character sticker and like a car to mark that. It was funny because I had to drive to my best friend's house. She drove to someone else's house. They then drove to our other friend's house and then they drove to the venue. It was funny because we just like kept having to pick each other up and no one actually had to drive the entire way, which was great. Um, but we had to drive and then we did get Shake Shack before the event. We were actually kind of worried because 
we were afraid that we weren't going to get let in because we didn't realize that it was first, we knew it was first come first serve basis, but we didn't know that they could have oversold the tickets. So there was a chance that you would not have been able to get in. It was fine in the end, but we were like freaking out at Shake Shack. We're like, oh my God, we got to eat quickly because we were running out of time. Um, but we made it and it was great. Um, but I used a pumpkin paper co girl, which I don't think their shop is open anymore. Um, but I used her to mark Shake Shack and then I just used a munchkin to mark the Jonas Brothers concert with friends again, it was a great night. And after that night, both me and my best friend were just like, we want to do more things like this this year. Just getting out with friends, getting to go do things and just spending time away from our work stress, our family stress, and just getting to spend time with some great and amazing friends. Like all these friends that I have, I work with. So I do see them, but we don't see each other all at the same time. And when we do, it's very, very rare. And they're just genuinely good humans and I, it's just great to be around them. So we were like, we need to do more of this. So hopefully we'll continue that trend. We have a little bit, but hopefully we'll continue that trend. Um, moving on to Sunday, I did sleep in because Doug got home really, really late. So I used a paper and milk little Maru and a sleep in script from the foil. And then I used a, another crafty banana coffee cup and a Dunkin' script that is from my shop. That is in font six, I believe. And I washed my makeup brushes on this day. Um, I cannot tell you for the life of me where these uh, makeup brush icon like sticker is from. I want to say it's from Paper and Milk, but I could be completely wrong. So I have that. Don't remember where it's from. And uh, the wash brushes script is from Carly Plans. And I had to order a new umbrella. I'm assuming it was probably raining and I just didn't mark it on one of these days. Um, but I had to order a new umbrella because the one that I had was broken. So I used a Paper and Milk tomorrow to mark that. But the fact that I have to like mark that I ordered a new umbrella because it doesn't rain that often for us shows you a lot but also we've gotten a lot of rain this year so um I don't know how to get a new one because the amount of times that also my umbrella turns inside out in the wind and I'm like I don't get it I don't know how people who live in the rainy like areas deal with this on a daily basis because it's very annoying um I then also marked two orders I did kind of change the order of this just because I didn't like the way that it was placed so I used a munchkin to mark that I placed a once more with love order um and then I did also make a Leonard designs order but again I didn't like the spacing of it so I put it down lower um so I marked toy story in between it with a movie marquee from the script or from the kit so the toy story script is from my shop and then the little ham icon or character sticker is from once more with love and then the Leonard designs order sticker is from the kit. I just used one of the icons that came with the kit to mark that. Um, but I'm pretty much marking now, other than my Scrub Prince Co. mystery kits, I'm marking whenever I place orders, purely just because I don't make them very often anymore. So that's why hauls are a little few and far between and um, just not spending as much money as I normally would. So so that is going to be everything for this plan with me. I apologize for the amount of brain mistakes that is happening right now. Like literally my brain just not functioning at all. She is struggling. Also, I put the spread in the in my planner in the wrong way or the wrong place and I realized it later when I was filming the next plan with me and I was like, why the heck is this here? What the heck? Um, so yes, I apologize for all of the brain fog and um, me only just now waking up, but it is what it is. I'm going to flip through what's left of the kit. Obviously, this was a mystery kit, so I have a bunch of labels and things left over. Hello, camera. You want to actually focus on it? Did not realize that the camera wasn't focusing on it, but it is what it is. Um, and then here is a little bit of a wiggle for you guys so that you can see all of the foil goodness. Oh, wait, we've got to do the extender first with the box that is actually facing the correct way. And then we're going to do a little bit of a wiggle. There we go. Hollow foil. Just, it looks beautiful. It's the only one that actually like properly shows up on camera and we love to see it. So, that is everything for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And please leave me some type of comment down below. Even if I don't respond to them, I do see them all. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye, guys.